Hey and welcome back to another video within this course. So in our last video within the course, we actually created a folder called resources. But what was the actual purpose of this folder? Well, when you start an iOS project, you don't really want to just have a you know bunch of random files scattered everywhere in your project. You want to have some kind of structure to it so you can easily navigate and know where files are. So this is why we created the resources folder because this is where we're going to put all of the resources or any of the files that are related to resources within this folder so we have some kind of structure in terms of where they all live now let's actually look at this presentation with some graphics to actually look at how we're going to organize our actual project structure using features so if you actually look at the mock-up that i actually shown in the previous video you'll see that we actually had quite a few different designs and one thing that i actually want to do is actually look at each one of the screens as features so what do i mean by this Think about a feature as a single isolated component and we only want to group relevant files by their features. So if something isn't relevant to that, we actually want to move it out. So first of all, what we want to do is actually have a root folder on the screen as you can see here called features. And this is going to house everything that relates to the screens within our mockup. So let's first start off with our people view. Now let's create a folder called people. And within people, we're going to actually organize this with a few folders called views, models, and view models. So everything that's related to that people screen is now within the people's folder. So if we ever want to find a file, we know where we need to go. If we look at our next screen, we have the create screen, which is similar to people. And we also have the detail screen as well. And then finally, we have the settings view. So as you can see, a lot of our you know screens now have their own relationship with files that are only relevant to them. But what about in situations where we actually have views that are actually, you know, reusable in different parts of the application, such as, you know, the purple pill in our design? Well, what we'll actually do is move this out into a folder called base. And within base, it was actually this will actually be used to hold files that are actually shared across multiple features. So now we actually have a structure like this where it's easy to actually find files and it's clean as well. So what we're going to do now is actually implement this diagram that we have into our Xcode project. So let's do this now. Within our iOS take home project with our structure, we're going to actually recreate the diagram that we just looked at a second ago. So we have our resources folder, which is fine. But now what we're going to do is create our base folder and our features folder. Cool. So now we have base. I'm going to create another folder here called features. Sweet. So within features, we want to have a people view. So we're just going to call this people. And then we also need a create feature. And then we need a detail. And then finally, we need a settings. Awesome. So now we have our structure in terms of each screen having its own folder to house its files. So for our people, let's just create the relevant folders that it needs. So we're going to create a folder called views. And then we're also going to create another folder called model. And then we're going to hold, create another folder called view models. So I'm going to get into a bit more detail when we actually put files within these folders within, you know, each one of them. But just to give you a high level overview of what they each, what each one of them is. So this view model is basically going to hold any files that perform any kind of business logic for our views. Our model is just going to represent the models, so the data that we get back from our service, which we'll talk about in the next set of videos. And then we also have our views, which is simply just going to be the views that you see on the screen that relate specifically to the people screen. So now we want to actually copy this structure for our remaining folders, except from the settings view, which I'll get to in a second. Let's just go into create and then we'll copy this now. Awesome. So now we have our structure. So you can see here that people create in detail all the same. And that's because they're actually going to perform some kind of logic and, you know, interact with an API and also have their own views. But settings is a bit different. So settings doesn't have a model or a view models folder. And the reason for this is because if you actually look at the mockup designs, all we have is a form with a toggle. So this actually isn't going to be interacting with any of the services. So there's no need to actually give it a model or a view model file. It's simply just going to be housed within the settings view based on 
the toggle when we're interacting with the screen okay cool so that's everything in this video if you enjoyed this video i'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section below also as well if you haven't already i'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get updates for whenever i release a new video that's everything from me i'll catch you on a bit deuces